Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the High School Sports Beat brought to you by Alfred State College. I'm Dave Yates. It is time now for the High School Notebook brought to you by Duncan. America runs on Duncan. Once again this week, we are pleased to be joined by Matt Trabel. Matt, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, Matt, we're going to start off talking a little puck. We're going to talk Webster Thomas. Absolutely, and kudos to the Section 5 Hockey Committee because the final game of this regular season that they scheduled, that really period to put on the regular season, ends up being the Class B 2019 B Final, Spencer Port and Webster Thomas. And what made this matchup even better is that these two teams in Class B this season also won, also two, Thomas and Spencer Port, respectively. I don't think anybody outside of Webster thought this final score would be so lopsided, so one-sided. You saw Thomas win 8-3, and I think it's going to take a Herculean feat to knock off and really prevent a repeat in Class B out of Section 5 hockey from those Thomas Titans this season because even on top of all the other accolades that they have, this year especially they went out and really played up to a certain degree in the regular season scheduling, played almost an entirely Class A schedule against all those stalwarts from the other side of the Rochester and of the Section 5 area. And Kevin Gabalski, the long hair, is the first guy you see on the ice really because of that main. Last year he had only four points, but this year 21 points tied right now for the team lead in points. And then Zach Wolf missed a couple games this season, but still he has 21 as well. This team is tough. Sounds like a fun setup for the sectionals. Let's talk some more sectionals coming up in uh, Brighton Girls Basketball. Yeah, so Class A girls basketball has a seven-team log jam atop those standings behind those two real stalwarts, those front runners in Menden, in the defending champion there, and Aronda Coit, who's really had kind of a breakout season this year. One of the youngest teams of that seven-team group is Brighton, and it's really one to watch for, even with that youth, because you're seeing some leave in terms of young stars, but some also stay. Coming into this season, what you saw, and really unfortunate to a certain degree, right off the bat, is Cadence Hadley, a 6'1 underclassman. She transfers over to Bishop Kearney, but the team has found plenty of other young stars to lean on this season and rally around. And that conversation starts with a sophomore guard in Kiara Anglin. She's already clearly one of the top players overall in Section 5, one of the most aggressive players in Section 5, one of the steals leaders in the section, and not long behind her in the scoring list for the Barons this season is one of only two seniors on the team in guard my Zaylia Henry, and on top of that, Sadie Scott, an eighth grader, she also starts. Very nice. Switching gears a little bit, we always like talking about Section 5 guys who are doing well at the college level, especially when they're staying local, RIT lacrosse. Yeah, so since Jake Kuhn became the head coach for men's lacrosse over there at RIT, the program has really turned into and grown into a national powerhouse. And his tenure has seen for the mo his tenure, I should say, has seen for the most part Canadians leading the way, whether it be Chad Levick and Ryan Lee, or a little bit before that, Matt Hosick, the long pole, or really a guy in Alistair Warren, Canadians, Canadians, Canadians. But three years ago, you saw really at the forefront with a McQuaid product in Sean Nally and a Webster Thomas product in Cam Isaac, they led a span of seasons where Rochesterians were actually kind of leading the way to a certain degree or at least having a major role in team success. And that trend is really seeing red right now with a couple of Fairport products. Last year, Cameron Gebhardt had 10 goals for the Tigers as a sophomore. And current sophomore, Spencer Bell, he had a hat trick. He led the team in scoring in their 2020 opener. They went 17-4 to against a fellow top-10 team nationally in D3 and Wesleyan. Outstanding. Always seems weird to be talking spring sports right now, but <laughs> hey, tis the nature, tis the season. All right, thanks, Matt. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us as well. We're back with more of the High School Sports Beat brought to you by Alfred State College right after this.